Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about strapping pair make sum equal. So the explanation here is completely based on the assumption that you already have some basic coding knowledge. If you are not good at basic coding, please visit our website learningmonkey.in. Take the course placement training for service based companies. Then come for the competitive coding. Coming to today's class, let's understand the example given two arrays of integers of size n and m. Two arrays are there going to give you the, the elements in the two arrays are n and m. n elements, m elements. Our task is to find a pair of elements. We need to find a pair of elements, uh, one from each array. So we have to take one from each array such that uh, swapping the elements will make the sum of elements same for both arrays. Uh, with example, we are going to understand it better. n is equal to 6, m is equal to 4, means 6 elements, 4 elements. Uh, the elements are a is equal to 4, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 6, 3, 3. So, we need to identify a pair of elements each from uh, one from each array. Suppose if you take three from here, if you take one from here, if you stab these two elements, means place three here, one here, the summation should be same for both the arrays. So, let us try to understand. Initially, what is the summation? 4, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, sum is equal to 11. For B, sum is equal to 15. If you place, if you if you take out 3 from here and place it here, if you take 1 from here and place it here, what is the summation values? 1, 3, if you, if you swap this pair, this is what you are going to get, 13, 13, sum is equal. So, there exists a pair, by swapping those pairs, a pair of elements, you are getting the summation value equal. If this happens, you have to return 1. Otherwise, return minus 1. That is what the output uh, you have to provide. Here, output should be 1. So, in order, to, uh, in order to do this example, we are having two different ways to do solve this example. We are going to explain both the ways. So, one is using hashing and one is using uh, from the basics of merge sort logic uh, by sorting the elements we are going to do in the first logic. Uh. Both are equal, both are useful because uh, if you understand the way how we are solving these examples, uh, this may help you in remaining examples to apply this type of situations in remaining examples. That's why you have to understand both the ways. Uh. So, coming to the first way, first way is take this example 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 3, 6, 3. This is the A and B elements. Uh, and the thing is, you need to sort both the arrays. If you sort these array elements, so first we will do sum 1 means summation of all these elements is 10. Sum 2, summation of all these elements is 12. So after sorting the elements, the elements will be like this 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 3, 6. So now the logic goes like this. See, after sorting the elements, see, sum 1. We start from here, the first position, i, i, we take a variable i, we take a variable j. So, sum 1 means the first array element sum minus, if you take out this ith element minus a of i, if you place this jth element plus b of j, we, we call that summation is v1. S similarly, sum 2 is equal to means this summation, sum to 12 minus if you take out this element b of j plus if you place this element a of i v1 v2 these summations we call it as v1 v2 if v1 is equal to v2 what happens there exists an element by changing those elements our summation value is same then immediately if v1 is equal to v2 return 1 Otherwise, otherwise, if V1 not equal to V2, this is the point you have to understand. If V1 not equal to V2, there, there may be chances of V1 greater than V2. If V1 greater than V2 means what we have to do? See, if V1, V1 means summation of these elements. V2 means summation of these elements. So, after exchanging the array. V1 greater means the element which we take out from here, we are placing it here. The element which we take out from here, we are placing it here. So, V1 greater means the element which we take it from here is contributing much summation value in V in sum 1. 
and the element which we take it from here it is it is it is not a it is smallest element it is not contrib it is not contributing much summation value here in the b so now that's why that's why in order to make it equal we take the next element in the eighth position if v1 greater than v2 so now we move i value similar to math sort math sort smallest element go down next element see if this is smaller it is not contributing much here so that's why we are moving to next position because the elements are in sorted order that's why that point you have to catch if the elements are in sorted order next one is definitely the biggest element try with this combination 1 3 which is same again next try the next combination 2 3 yes this is satisfying our condition if you swap this and this we are getting v1 equal to v2 like that uh, if v1 greater than v2 we increment i if v1 less than or equal to v2 we increment j so else increment j so this is the condition like that we take a, we check all the pairs all the pairs 1 3 1 3 2 3 like that if any matching found v1 equal to v2 we return otherwise after coming out of the loop return minus 1 that is the output we have to provide this is the first logic this is the first logic first understand the time complexity of this first logic so in order to sort the elements there are n elements here n log n you take any best sorting algorithm the minimum time required is n log n similarly if you take the second one m log m n log n plus m log m that is the time complexity because here we are taking the elements uh, it is not greater than n log n that's why our time complexity is n log n plus m log m but uh, what is the space complexity we are not using any extra space that's why the space complexity is order of one but coming to the next example by using hashing we can reduce the time also but our space complexity increases to n how we can solve this example using hashing let's try to understand using hashing uh, so our, our hope is uh, you already watched our previous examples on hashing uh, so what's the benefits of hashing we discussed in our previous examples uh, with that knowledge you can understand it better so using hashing the logic goes like this uh, someone take these elements a is equal to b is equal to a is summation is equal to 11 sum 2 is equal to 15 okay this summation is 15 this summation is 11 see understand first point is sum 2 minus sum 1 divided by 2 that is equal to 2 so sum 2 minus sum 1 if it is odd number odd number if it is odd number there is no possible pair you are going to get from this uh, two arrays if it is odd number if you divide it by 2 you are going to get the value in points 2 point something 2.5 3.5 means you cannot share the values so that's why that's why if you take this sum 2 minus sum 1 by 2 is sum 2 minus sum 1 is odd otherwise if uh, divided by 2 means uh, the total value is odd number you are not going to you, you don't have the possibility to share the values to swap the values so that's why that's why if it is odd number simply return minus 1 if it is even number there is a possibility so that's why we need to check step by step uh, by using hashing technique how we do that let's try to understand uh, the same logic in in our previous uh, example logic uh, s1 means summation of one s2 means summation of second array here p means the element that we are considering from the a array p means element from a q means element from b sum 1 minus p means we take out this element from a plus q means you place an element from b if that happens that should be equal to sum 2 you take an element from b and you place an element from a that is s2 minus q plus p if these two are equal then we can say that this pair exists uh, so that the summation value is equal see from this equation we are getting that if you exchange s1 here and q this side 2q is equal to s2 minus s1 plus 2p 
q is equal to s2 minus s1 by 2 plus p if this equation if this equation satisfies means q is element from b p is element from a so that's why that's why we are making a second array q is element from b that's why we are keeping a hash table for second array hash table for second array what is our second array 3633 3. if you maintain a hash table what is this 3 how many times 3 times 6 how many times one time if you maintain this hash table what is the logic which way we will go now take an element from a this is these are the elements from a take an element from a substitute in this equation you are going to get q value take an element from a this is p value substitute in this equation you will get a q value if this q value exists in hash table so you are going to get a pair otherwise no take the next element substitute in this equation you will get a q value if this q value exists in here yes there exists a pair so that you can exchange them and you can get a summation value equal to both the summation values are equal like that you check for each and every element first one failure second one failure third one failure fourth one success assume for simple we are explaining something we are not exactly saying that first one is failure or not if first one failure second one failure third one failure fourth one success there exists a queue that belongs to hash table stop it here return one so this is how using hashing so what is the time complexity here in order to identify the summation of both the arrays n m and if you want to take the elements one by one and check the values from the apply it in this equation and check the values from the hash table order of n in order to maintain this hash table order of m so space complexity is order of m and time complexity is order of n so we can reduce the time complexity by using the hash table these are the things you need to understand so that you can apply these things in the remaining examples hope you understand this example if you have any questions regarding the concept anyhow the coding is provided in our website learningmonkey.in you can copy the code and you can execute the code both the codes are available in our website if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you